So one of the most important things for businesses looking to grow their organic visibility is to understand how their site is performing at this current moment and what optimizations need to take place. Now there's a number of tools out there where you can do free SEO audits and get some insight or grading your website. But a lot of times you get a lot of information that you may not be so sure about. You don't know if you can trust. There's, there's just a lot of things involved. Now, one of the tools that we've been using here at our agency that we've absolutely enjoyed is called SERPstat. Now, why I like it is it really is one of those all-in-one tools when it comes to SEO. You can do a lot of things. But one of the coolest features is their audits. And I'm going to walk you through their SEO audit and how you can use this to better understand your site and also how to get the data you need in order to make the changes and optimizations you need to make. So the first thing you need to do is go to serpstat.com. Uh, sign up for a free account. They have a free account that you can use. Um, obviously the tool is used by a number of high, high level companies here. Um, and then what you want to do is you actually want to create a project. So for this case, we're just going to do the good old uh, example. Dot com. Now you type it in, you hit search, and it's going to pull up some high level metrics here in the dashboard. Now this is your overview. This isn't your website audit, this is just an overview. And this is going to show you kind of where your site is standing right now. You've got how visible is your site, what's the estimated amount of traffic, how many keywords are you estimated to rank for, what are the number of words that you're using in PPC. And then it breaks down the details here, keyword distribution, any subdomains, your visibility trend, your keyword trend, all of really cool information. But this isn't really the website audit that we want to look at. In order to run a website audit, you go over here to the navigation and you click audit. And then we click audit summary. Now, we've never done an audit on this site, so now we need to start analysis. Walk through this. I recommend just kind of using their um, their, their setup and get going and then it's going to run this audit. Now once this audit's finished we are going to go back and take a look at the results. So I'm not going to make you sit here and watch this so we'll fast forward. Alright so now that the audit's done they're going to give you a score and what they're going to do is actually save your old scores and allow you to see if you've improved uh, or not um, every time you run an analysis which is pretty awesome. So what this is going to do is give you a high level, your high priority issues, medium priority, low priority, and then also your the information also associated with this, this audit. So if you scroll down, it's going to show you a number of the things that it checked. If it's got a green check mark, it means you pass. So the server uh, is, is running right. You know, we've got the specific status codes that we need to have. You know, the, there's no 500 errors. There's no 404 errors, which is good. Now it's going to go into meta tags. Um, it's going to say, okay, you've got some duplicate titles because we didn't get the track mark. And you want to see exactly what the title is. You just drop down here. It'll tell you, okay, example.com needs uh, a title. It's also missing a description, looks like, right here. So we can go and it tells you what the issue is and how to fix it. Um, again, we go down and it's going to check things, things off. If we're missing any character encoding, um, declare that your character encoding is in HTML. Again, this is just a nice way to help the search engines understand how your site is structured. But as you go down, it's going to give you a number of checklists. And if you passed, we have the green check. And if you haven't, you're going to have no check. And then it's going to, again, tell you what the issue is and where the issue is at. The reason I like this tool is that obviously it's a checklist, so you get to see what's working and what's not. But also it gives you a description of what's happening, how to fix it, and exactly where it's at. You know, a lot of times you get an SEO report and you've got a lot of titles missing, but it's a free report and you don't know exactly the pages that are missing the titles. Or, and it can be kind of hard to, to go back through and, and find all those. So this tool gives a really good job of, of just laying everything out that's really important to search. Now, there's a couple ways to go through this too. You can schedule these to happen regularly so you know what's happening, but we also can export the data. So you can do it in a PDF, and the PDF has, has links attached to it. You can you know, add your brand name if you want to, or you can also do a, an Excel file, which is really nice too. This, cause this is gonna drop it into an Excel sheet, which you're now going to be able to go through, at, see all the pages here in, in a simple to use Excel sheet. Go back, make the list of priorities, and begin to actually uh, fix these issues on your website. I'll show you what the Excel sheet looks like really quick. I prefer to work out of Excel. It's just easy. So we've got the summary of all the issues and then any of the issues that would have popped up by here, duplicate titles. Uh, we didn't have that issue, but we did have a missing title, right? And 
we can find any of the issues on these lists here. So missing description, this is the exact URL. You go to that URL, you add a description, you can mark it as resolved anywhere you want to and get back on with your life, making sure that your site is optimized. A couple other features under site audit, it also does a loading speed. So this is Google page speed test, extremely important today because Google has even more so put emphasis on speed. You can do it from mobile and desktop, see any of the issues your site might be having, be able to address those issues and then make sure that your site is where it needs to be in order to rank in search and engage with the users in the most optimal experience possible. Hope you guys learned something today. If you got any questions on the SERP stat audit tool, we would love to help you out. Just comment below.